Six Sigma means doing it right from the customer's perspective every time. It's actually 999,997 out of a million times with only three per million defective, but let's just say every time. Let's use an example so we can look at this graphically. Suppose you work for a pharmaceutical company. Your company manufactures a topical pharmaceutical and you fill it into tubes. The target fill weight is 60, 60 grams. Anything below 50, you're shortchanging your customers. Above 70, you're overfilling, so you're losing money. So you run, let's say 100,000, 200,000, and you pull 1,000 samples. Let's look at the data. On the horizontal axis, we have our fill weight, targeted at 60. On the vertical axis, the y-axis, we have frequency. Look what we got. Look at all these that are below 50 or above 70. They're defective, they're out of spec, they are defects. In Six Sigma, you'll employ several statistical tools and some process improvement tools. You'll squeeze that variability down. Look at what you got now. More than 99% are within specification. You're running Six Sigma. The other thing you can do is start squeezing in these, these, um, these limits. You can go 55 and 65, so you're running in even tighter specifications, making your customers even happier. That's what Six Sigma is really all about, doing it right every time. It has become somewhat of a religion. It's really not. It's just a structure, a methodology, and a stack of uh, statistical analysis tools you can use. Do it right every single time from your customer's perspective. Let's walk through another example, different industry. Suppose that you work for a food distributor and your customers are lunchtime restaurants. One particular customer caters to a corporate crowd. They want fresh ingredients, so you deliver fresh food every day. You want to be there by 11 o'clock. So your boss says to you, this client's complaining, go fix it, okay? First thing you do as a Six Sigma person is you look at the data. So we look at our data for the past year. We have 261 events because there are 261 workdays in a year. So that's a, so on the horizontal on the on the vertical axis here we have frequency. On the horizontal axis we have a delivery time of 261 data points. Look at what we got. The vast majority, more than 99%, are before 11 a.m. What's the problem? One of the fundamental tools, one of the most important concepts of Six Sigma is voice of the customer. Doing it right from the customer's perspective every time. So why are they complaining? Well, you go ask, you listen. What the customer says is, hey, I need you here between 10 and 10.30. Before 10, I'm not ready for you. We're cleaning up from breakfast, and I see your guys are sitting out in the delivery trucks on the clock wasting your money. After 10.30, I gotta get ready for lunch. So 11 o'clock doesn't matter to me. Voice of the customer says 10 to 10.30. Let's look at the data now. What do you see? Wow, almost 20% are defective. One per week, you've screwed up. Well, no wonder this customer is complaining. Fast forward a year later, let's see what we got. You reduce that variability. You're targeting 1015. Look what you have now. More than 99% are between 10 and 1030. Now you're running Six Sigma. Now you're much better. Your customers are much happier. So Six Sigma is a great tool to help you improve your operations. If you'd like to see how this tool or some of the other ones that we teach can apply to your company, please give us a call. We'd be happy to help you out.